A number of private schools in London are calling for the taxpayer to fund places for bright pupils from poorer backgrounds. They say it's the best way to help bridge the gap between the independent and state sectors. Critics say public money is better spent on improving the education of all pupils. Nick Beek reports. In the shadow of St Paul's, nearly a thousand boys enjoy perhaps one of the best educations money can buy. A year's fees at City of London School is £13,500, so what do you get for that? We've got music, drama, sport, art, debating, so anything that you're interested in you can pursue here. There's something for everyone, whereas in other schools it's hard to find that. You are working in twos or threes. One in seven pupils here already has his fees paid for him. But the school says more poorer students could experience this if the government helped foot the bill. What we need is critical mass. In other words, change the whole nature of the component of the children coming in. That irrespective of the wealth of their parents, if they're good enough to come to the school, they can come. So how would the open access scheme work? Well, for the children who pass an entrance exam, their parents would be means tested. The poorest families wouldn't pay anything. Instead, the government would pay part of their fees and the school would use its own bursary funds to match that amount. Better off parents would pay reduced fees and as is the case now, the wealthiest parents would pay the full amount. But at some schools, the government would pay everything. Critics say public money should only be spent on improving existing state schools. It would be deeply unfair um, giving extra money to schools that are very well off anyway. And also, it would lower standards overall. It would suck out the talented students from the state sector. However, the man behind the plan claims half of the country's private day schools are now signed up and says there's public support too. We're not creating new grammar schools, we're not creating new selection. This is, this is taking selection, democratising the entry to these schools. But there's no sign yet the government's willing to hand over cash to fill private school halls with poorer pupils. It said today its priority is to transform state education, expanding academies and creating more free schools. Nick Beek, BBC London News.